chose Nicaragua as the destination in Central America was essentially because it's relatively untraveled and it's a country that's really what backpackers are sort of looking for. You know, it's there's an intimacy with the with the local people and with nature and with you know the just the surroundings in general. There's you know there's not this sort of tourist infrastructure that's just meant to please you know what tourists are looking for but instead you really get a sense of what Nicaragua is all about and you you're alongside the Nicaraguans still living their daily life and it's 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 it's, a, it's incredible because they're they're such genuine and friendly people and so happy to have tra travelers here from what I hear there's a lot of hesitation about coming down to Nicaragua you tell people where you're going or where you're traveling to and Nicaragua's almost got this stigma about it that it had so much publicity back when at least our previous generation, our parents were growing up, that it's this almost taboo place to travel and this taboo place to go. But in reality, no news is good news. And I mean, 15 years of no news has really proven that Nicaragua is shining now. It's, they've been through so much and we saw that through, through the media and through the news. But in reality, right now, it's, it's an absolutely incredibly peaceful country. People are so happy to be out of this war tone region in the Civil War, they're so happy to be prosperous and to deal with personal leisure as versus the only necessity before was to essentially live, to get through everything. And now they have a chance to look at themselves and what they want to do and what they want to experience. And it's inspiring to see that you come down here and realize that there's this immense history of the country and this immense struggle, but they've persevered through it so strongly. Free and Easy TV has transitioned from Southeast Asia now to Nicaragua and Central America. So we've got 20 days to go and see several different destinations. We're starting off in the south of Nicaragua in San Juan del Sur. We get to hang out there and then head to Madeiras Beach, one of the most well-known surf destinations in Nicaragua and just a really relaxing beach bum and lifestyle. From Madeiras we went to the twin volcanic island Ometepe on Lake Nicaragua which is just a massive lake, the second biggest in Central America, and these two majestic volcanoes, which we were able to climb one of them. Then, you know, we had a big travel day all the way to the Caribbean side of Nicaragua with a flight and a boat that was, you know, through huge waves off to a little island that's essentially no roads, and, you know, we, we got six days in Little Corn Island where we could just totally unwind and do some scuba diving and uh, then from there we came back to more of the Latino side of Nicaragua and to Leon, the colonial city and uh, real capital of sort of the Nicaraguan revolution and uh, continued on to Pamaloya at the beach close to Leon and onto Laguna de Apoyo, a crater lake that's dormant but still, you know, a beautiful freshwater lake. After a few months of traveling around, the three of us, we explored pretty much everywhere we could, tried to, to find new locations and destinations. After what we thought would be a pretty much a perfect 20-day trip in our eyes, uh, headed back up to Managua, spent a couple days to kind of wrap things up, get the guidebooks ready, and then off to the airport. and. Uh, Next thing you know, we got 20 people new in this country, and then things began. Excellent, excellent. I can't wait to get this trip started. Check out our beautiful bus. <laughs> uh, well, we got eight pizzas, a few flats of beer, about 100 ounces of good rum, and uh, two hours on a bus. So I think we're well set up for a good ride. Uh, tonight, there's no sleeping allowed by far. We're, we're going to roll into the most magical beach house you've ever seen, and you're going to wake up for the sickest sunrise of your life next to a beautiful pool on the most beautiful beach you've ever seen. And we're gonna go surfing all day. Then you'll sleep, <laughs> and it'll be a good sleep. So we've got the group down here. There's about 25 of us right now, about to hop into some buses. Everyone just got fed, got some breakfast, and uh, I think we're all watered up. A couple Powerades, some spits. Days ahead of us, it's a beautiful sunny day, no clouds. So. We're gonna get pitted and ride those barrels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Just know that I'm, when I'm surfing, I'm like I'm in another world, and I completely relax. And I mean nothing better than you know when you're around the water, and I don't know you get to see the tree, especially in the morning when you go early in the morning and you get to see the sunrise, you know, from your board. That's a very uh, great feeling, so peaceful. Especially you and your friends are there, you know? That's like the most amazing thing. Oh, oh. 